I want to take a minute or two and talk about the IMDb movie database, since we will be working with this file for the first few chapters of the course. If you're not familiar with IMDb, it's an acronym that stands for the Internet Movie Database, and it contains all sorts of information about movie titles released around the world. So we'll be looking at a cut of the IMDb data for the first several sections, which gives us movie titles, attributes, budgets, and revenues from 1920 to 2015. And this is a great file to use to practice pivot table concepts because it contains a number of interesting dimensions and measures. Now the way to think about dimensions, it's kind of those columns that you can use to categorize your data, to roll it up or break it down in interesting ways. So in this case, our dimensions include the movie title, the release date, whether it was color or black and white, what genre it falls into, the language, country, rating, and lead actor and director name. The measures, which are the quantitative fields or the metrics that we actually care about, include Facebook likes for the lead actor, the total cast, the director, and the movie as a whole, plus the IMDb score, which is on a scale of 1 to 10, the total number of reviews, the film duration in minutes, gross revenue, and budget. So a bunch of interesting fields that we can use to analyze and explore here. And the concepts covered include pretty much everything. Uh, we'll talk about formatting and conditional formats, sorting, filtering, and grouping tools. We'll do a nice deep dive into calculated values and fields, and then go into pivot charts as well. So let's switch over to Excel and see exactly what we're working with. So here's what the file looks like in Excel. This is the IMDb movie database file. It's available in the course resources. And as you can see, we've got our dimensions here in blue. We've got our measures here in green. Looks like we have about 18 columns coming out through column R. And scrolling down, we've got 3,726 rows, which is not a huge file. Um, it's not a very small one either. It's a nice kind of size that will give us plenty of flexibility to really showcase how pivot tables can be used to explore and analyze this data set. So go ahead and open this Excel file, take a peek through yourself. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we're ready to move on.